Willie D. Live. How did your mom feel about persuasion? Uh <laughs> You know, I do my homework. Yeah, you do your I love it. I love it. Um, before uh, persuasion, <laughs> I had another girlfriend who my mom. Okay. So basically, what I'm saying is, she already knew that I liked women. Okay. So persuasion wasn't the first. Like, oh my god, she's with a woman now. But it was hard for her then, and it was hard for her when I, you know, openly said I was with Sway. But now. She likes Sway. So I think that's the the difference, you know, and she always says, I may not accept that lifestyle all in all, but I love you. So mm-hmm. I'm going to accept you and what you bring. Yeah. And I think um, I think for a lot of parents who have to go, th- who, who deal with that, mm-hmm. um, I think a lot of them ultimately choose to love their child continue exactly. to love their child yeah. and accept you know what it is even if they don't agree right they they, they accept it yeah because i mean what else can you do exactly right? uh you know if you don't you're going to push them away yeah right yeah so um yeah that that's i think that's a conversation that a lot of people have to think about you know yeah uh, I, she didn't want me to feel like she wasn't accepting of me, because you're absolutely right. It does push your your kid away, because it's mm-hmm. like, well, you're not accepting my lifestyle, so why should I even come around anymore? And then it kind of forces you. I went through a, a point where I felt like I had to choose a side, not with Sway, but with my previous relationship, because she mm-hmm. didn't like that girl. So there were times when I didn't talk to my mom for like six months, because at that time I'm like, mm-hmm. well, I have to pick my relationship. I'm getting older, you know. So it does really put you in a weird position, but. Um, that's kind of that's how I knew that the relationship I'm in now was ten times better because like she's coming over the house for Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. there's different things that I'm like, okay, this is all like you're accepting me now. Now, now is she accepting it to the extent where you can hug up on each other on the couch and no, we don't kiss do that. that. No, 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 okay. we don't do that. But we we don't do that anyway because she has a daughter. And our biggest thing mm-hmm. is we never want. Um, which I've gotten some backlash for this, but my viewpoint on it is I don't want her three-year-old daughter to look at two women and grow up in a household where she feels like, well, I'm supposed to be with a woman Mm because I didn't grow up in a household like that. I never saw men, but that's not the reason I like women. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? There was nothing that my mom brought around me to alter my perception of anything, of who I should date, nothing. So we just want to give her daughter a fair shot. Now, if she comes home from school one day, I was like, I think I like this girl in my class, well, you made that decision on your own. Yeah. So now let's help you with that. But no, when um, we're at the house, we don't kiss, we don't hug, nothing around her daughter. She thinks, um, I think she thinks I'm a, a, a best friend. Yeah. <laughs> but I asked that question because I mm-hmm. know I've heard a, a few people say, look, okay, I'll accept you, but look, you, you ain't finna be sitting on my couch yeah. kissing no nigga. Uh, right. About, you know, that type of thing. I've heard people say, say that, you know. I agree, but I think even with... Um, straight couples would you go over your your mom's house and be tonguing your boyfriend down like my sister is as straight as a a, whatever the saying is and she's not bringing her boyfriend over tonguing him down on the couch so i think it's just a a respect thing you know i would never do that anyway even if i was with a man you know what you've i've been knowing you a while and, Mm -hmm. and, and it's like you're wise beyond your years thank you even when you rap your your style, you know, the way you deliver, the way you, uh, the things that you say, the metaphors that you use, you know, it's it's substantive, you know, it's mm. substantive, you know, Thank it's you. it's it's something there, Thank right? You. Um, when did you have this urge of, of when you first realized you said, you know what, I think I like girls, not boys. Hmm. Um. I was about 17, yeah. 17, 18, yeah. I had um, moved from California, came out to Texas, and this girl just turned me out, I guess you can say. <laughs> she was an older girl? No, she was uh, a year younger than me, actually, yeah. yeah. Okay. And, yeah, I just kind of so, stayed that way the whole time after that. But it didn't happen 
while playing basketball because you know it it's, did. It's, it's, I knew I knew that oh, was coming. So, what's the, so what happened while <laughs> playing basketball? Well, I played ball my whole life, so All I right. think I just always had that. I had a, a boyfriend for three, four years, even when I was hooping. But I think when you play basketball, and please, I hope people don't kill me for this, but as a woman, we just have that natural like aura to us. <laughs> like we just a little edgier, we're a little, a little harder. A little aggressive. A little yeah, aggressive. we are. We're not yeah. as feminine as the girl who may play volleyball or run track and field. We're just mm-hmm. not. It just is what it is because we have to be so tough. So um, I had the boyfriend when I was playing basketball, but then when I moved to Texas, you know, I, I think it was just curiosity. And curiosity can really, you know... Curiosity can't yeah. can. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta ask that because yeah. you know, like a lot. Of, uh, that's that's for people who don't want their kids gay yeah. or got a problem with that. They do not want their daughters that's playing true. basketball. Yeah, that's true. Like, My yeah, girl is going yeah. through that right now because I love basketball. So I'm like, let's right. put her in basketball because her daughter's so athletic and like aggressive, and mm-hmm. she's like, no. <laughs> yeah. Like you know, but I don't know. It definitely has a stigma to it, though. I'm not gonna lie. Now, is there a difference between, like, being intimate with a woman and a man to you? Um, Have you ever been intimate with I a man? I was just about to tell you, no. So, you never kissing been? and stuff, but okay. not, I never went all the way. Hold on. Stop. Never had sex, yeah. With, Hold on. Wait, yeah, stop. I know. Right oh, Lord. I know what question's going to come next, too. Well, how do you know you're really gay? Hold, hold on. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I just want to know, like, like, so no man has ever bodied you. No. But you know what's crazy? Y'all weak, dog. All <laughs> no, no, y'all, no. Every, every dude who ever dated jazz, y'all soft. Y'all weak. My ex-boyfriend has tried to yourself. spin the block. He has tried to spin the block. But I think with, with him, we were together three, four years. He was a football player. I was a basketball player. We were supposed both supposed to go to USC. So I grew up in a household where it was like, save it for marriage. And to me, that was right around the corner. Like, when I tell this story, people right. always laugh. But I'm like... it. It really made sense to me because I'm like, okay, we're going to get to college. Like 19, 20, 21, 22, I'll probably marry you then. So for me, it wasn't a a long time. But he ended up cheating and I ended up moving. You know, life just... Did that turn you? Did that turn you? Well, no, but I think it made me more... I I can't even put that on him. I don't want to put that on him. I think I was just curious and I just have to be honest with that. Did Tammy raise you to trust man or not trust man or just be careful? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. We didn't have a lot of conversations about men because Mm -hmm. I didn't have, I never saw a man come in and out of the house. Like she wasn't the type of mom that just because, so I was maybe about three or four when they divorced, Kenny and my mom. I never saw a man till Reggie. Mm -hmm. And I met Reggie. Shouts out to Reggie. Yeah, when I was Are they 18. Still together? Yeah, married, yeah. married. Um, yeah, okay, all right, all right. Yeah. Shouts out to Reggie. When I was um, 17, 18. So you have to think for most of my. I mean, I don't know if she she probably was date. I mean, obviously she was dating, yeah. but she didn't let me and my sister see it. So I never had yeah. a man in the house. So it was just my sister, my mom, and my grandma. All women, strong black women. Yeah. So it's just like. She didn't tell me be safe or or not. It was just kind of like the only idea I had of a man, sadly, was my dad. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So I think I made that judgment of like, well, when he says he's going to pick me up, he never does. He says he's going to call me Friday. It's Sunday. You know what I'm saying? So I think for me, it just as you get older, you're like, hmm, well, I don't want to I don't want Maybe I shouldn't talk to you if you're any if anything reminds me of my dad. You get Boom. what I'm saying? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. I I, I know women who are like yeah. that. Yeah. And they do project those that they project that trauma on. Yeah. To Onto men the next in, man. In the, in the new relationships. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, women, listen to what listen to what I'm saying. I love you to death. I love you to life. But I'm gonna tell you something. You are doing yourself a huge disservice. Yeah, you are. That's if true. you are projecting your childhood drama, that uh, trauma, that relationship that you had with your father onto any man because he didn't earn that. Yes. Your, your dad that's did. True. So he shouldn't be responsible for that. Yeah, that's true. And so people actually do themselves a huge disservice when they do that. I mean, they imagine do. I had a tumultuous relationship with my mother mm-hmm. and I never once, like, projected that onto other women. Right. I mean, I just, I didn't do that. Uh, I guess I was 
probably wise beyond my years. You yeah, know? I was going to say that. But, but so you're telling me there wasn't one. I don't know your um, relationship status now, so yeah. forgive me if I'm being rude asking this. Yeah, but... you know, I get, you know, got a little something. Okay, <laughs> but yeah. I'm saying, like, when you were younger or anything, there wasn't one woman who was like, ooh, you remind me of my mama. I ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? Just because of your relationship no, with her? Uh, no, because, look, so my sisters and brothers might get mad about okay. me on this one. Okay. But I'm, I got to call a strike a strike mm-hmm. and a ball a ball. I wanted to make sure that I didn't... Uh, I didn't date women who was like my mother. Mm. I didn't want to date a woman like who was like my mother. My mama was an alcoholic. She was abusive. I mean, and she cuss, 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 cuss. <laughs> you know, and she, she was she was physically abusive and mm. verbally abusive. You know, so I didn't and I didn't want to date a woman that was like yeah. my mother. You know, but. Even have since, even with that said, I still love my mother because I'm from that era. Right. I'm, it's like Pac said, even though you was a crack fiend mama, you always was a black queen yeah, mama. Black queen, yeah, black queen. So that was still my mama, and you couldn't hurt her. You couldn't bring no harm to right. her. Right. And I still, you know, looked out for her. When I got some money, Yeah. Uh, my first piece of money, I went and bought her a house, not me a house. That's dope. You know, That's really so, dope. Uh, but, you know... I I knew my mama was violent too, very violent. Mm. My mama sliced a white man up in the '60s with a razor. All right, wow. my mama was violent. Okay. okay, so I knew I had a certain amount of aggression in me, and yeah. I could not be in a relationship with a woman who was violent because somebody got to mm. have some damn sense. Yeah, you know, point, like though. somebody, yeah. like you, you really shouldn't be. In a relationship, if at all, if you really, if you, you shouldn't be in a relationship with a violent person. Period. Yeah, you shouldn't. Yeah. Uh, but if, if, if you're in one, both of y'all cannot be right <laughs> violent. That's you know, because it's, it's it ain't gonna end well. No, it's not. It's not gonna end well. Somebody gotta be. Somebody gotta have some sense. Like, hold on, baby, that, mm-hmm. that ain't worth it. That ain't <laughs> right. worth it. Instead of y'all, Bunny and Clyde, yeah, coming going through like, <laughs> blah, blah, hey, it's us against the world, baby, no, all that kind of though. stuff. Nah, I'm not yeah. with that. <laughs> we, we talked about uh, Tammy a little bit earlier, your mom. Uh-huh. Like, Tammy is like, I love Tammy Roman. <laughs> like, Thank you. That's my girl for real. Right. Like, uh, I, I really do appreciate her tenacity. Her resilience, yeah. um, you know, and she's really solid, really yeah. solid. And um, she's like this, she's a mama bear, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And I remember when y'all were younger, you know, you and Lyric, you know, would be with her. You know, she was right there. And y'all yeah, were, she was. And y'all were like, you know, and y'all, <laughs> were, y'all, and y'all were mannerable too. I remember that. Yes. Like y'all, y'all were very mannerable and respectful mm-hmm. young girls. And uh, so I'm really not surprised to see, you know, you guys doing your own thing, you, you know, like mm-hmm. uh, Lyric, is do- she's still doing the modeling, right? Yeah, so she's in uh, law school now and she's on the show she's on... She's in law uh, school? Mm-hmm. Yeah. On, Lyric. How yeah. Yeah. And she's on a show on BET called House of Vicious, too. So when the strike's over, that'll be back on. Have y'all ever thought about the irony that Lyric name is Lyric, and, and but you're the MC? <laughs> yeah, that's that is a good point. I don't. My, I guess my mom was like lyric and jazz. Like it, I don't know. It yeah. made sense to her. She likes music. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, my mom had a little rap career for like a month. Yeah. <laughs> Back in her day. I didn't know that. Yeah, she did on the Real World. She was a rapper. Oh, I'm gonna look that up. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm looking that up as soon as we finish. I, <laughs> I gotta check out Tim. Oh skin. no. I'm gonna she gonna be that mad up. that I brought that. Up. <laughs> I'm going to Because she really rock with you. I'm she going gonna be like, why would you up? sell him that? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. 